Hello friends and welcome back. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and I'm so excited today to be presenting this etc. tag as part of the challenge theme moving parts. Life can be busy and complicated with lots of moving parts. Sometimes we need to get really creative to make it work. So again here is my etc. tag and look at all those bright fun flowers there and check out how the butterflies kind of move here when you when you move the tag. They are actually mounted on like acrylic strips and uh, just really works um, just really works very very well so again here's a overview of the card and again i used an older um, die the watering can and then i used two of the brand new dies this is the brushstroke butterflies and the modern floristry and i went through my famous little box of you know distressed and ink smooshed pieces these are mostly watercolor so again what I'm doing is I pulled out my um, tiny Sizzix cutter and I'm going to um, called the sidekick and so what I'm doing is I'm just pulling off pieces of the watercolor paper and then I'm starting off with the butterflies so again, using different colors here, I've got, um, what do I have here? Pink, two shades of pink, and then orange and yellow that go together. So again, I'm just, you know, kind of cutting the pieces out here. And then when I get them all done, I'll go ahead and glue them. So decided I needed to get that orange piece out here. <laughs> So again, this just works, you know, works really, really well. I like the sidekick for smaller projects. When you're just working on smaller, smaller pieces, it works very, very well. So again, I'm, I'm uh, taking my glue and uh, adding it on there and grabbing my tweezers to help me place them in the right place. And we'll just kind of continue on until all of my butterflies are done. I did add the bodies in black cardstock after I was done with this part of it. So there are my, my three butterflies. Now I'm moving on to the watering can. And again, I'm using the Sizzix Biggs watering can. This is no longer available, but I happened to find it at a sale. So I'm going to use that silver um, metallic cardstock, craft cardstock. And once I had the can cut out, I put, took my tool that has a steel wool topping on it. And again, I'm scratching off all of the shininess off the metallic confections uh, silver piece of cardstock. Again, I wanted it to look old and worn. And so I'll clean, clean my little mess up here. <laughs> and then I added a couple of strips of blue <clears throat> and uh, edged them with vintage photo right now i'm using black gesso on my craft mat and we're just going to add a bunch of black splatters you know just to really add to the age of the watering can and then once i get this all done i'll go ahead and set it aside and move on to the flowers <laughs> so this is the modern floristry um, set also a recent release for Sizzix. So again, I'm kind of sorting out and I'm going to be using the flowers and the leaves, not the abstract additional pieces. So I'm kind of got all my pieces as parts here and I'm ready to rock and roll. So I cut the pieces out of a whole lot of different cardstock that I've got. Some of it is Tim Holtz, some of it is other cardstock. And again, I'll go ahead and glue all the flowers together. And then I'll go ahead and set them aside. So I'm just using my PPA glue. It's got a needle nose um, applicator on it, and it just makes it quite easy to do this kind of stuff. So again, I worked on all of these, and once they were all glued together, as I said, I set, it, set them aside. And then I got out my vintage photo again and decided to edge all of the pieces for a little bit of depth and interest. So I didn't do the butterflies, but I did do all of the floral pieces. Just kind of working on edging them with a, you know, foam blending tool. They're never far from my, far, far from my workspace. <laughs> so again, here's all the pieces here. They've all been kind of colored with the vintage photo. Now I'm selecting the background. So I'm kind of looking at the different wallpaper um, sets that I have. And I ended up choosing this blue one because I thought it kind of, it looked interesting, kind of watercolored and, 
um, thought it would be interesting with the watering can with the blue blue stripe on it so again now I'm just kind of you know playing with my pile of flowers and trying to figure out where you know where I want them arranged um, and it's easier to work on you know the full-size tag which is real close to the etc tag that I'm going to be ultimately putting it on so again just kind of working through picking flowers um, trying to decide where I want them wanting all the you know the flowers evenly spaced and you know colors not on top of each other and you know we'll throw in all of the leaves and those little little twiggy things there try to find a, find a good place for all of those So I'm just about done playing. <laughs> all kinds of all kinds of fun leaves there that I can put. You know, and again when you when you cut out a bunch of things like this, you probably have extras that you can set aside for another day. And that's exactly what I do with my extras. So once I have it um, set up the way that I want to have it set up, I'm going to go ahead and see, show you there's where the butterflies go. They'll kind of pop up there in the front. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull that um, watering can and I'm grabbing a piece of press and seal and I'll go ahead and put that down over the top of it and just press it. Like, like the name says, um, then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. And that allows me to keep this arrangement somewhat together. It wasn't perfect, but somewhat together. And then I could get my um, collage medium glue out there to glue them, glue them together. So right now I'm going to go ahead and put that wallpaper piece on the um, mini etc. tag. So I've got it trimmed. I just used a pencil and traced it and cut it with my with my tonic Tim Holtz cutter. So again, now I'm just applying collage medium using a collage medium brush. And then we'll go ahead and put that top piece on there and press it down. And then I'll go ahead and you know flip it over so that the top piece is on the bottom. And you can see the thread hanging there. Before I glued it on there, I, I always take these things back to my sewing machine and add some little threads along the edges. So now I'm just taking my collage medium in the bottle and I'm just kind of adding lots of dots and just trying to you know be sure that everything's covered. And then I'll pick it up as one piece, figure out exactly where I want it, press it down and then gently pull that press and seal off. And so now of course I've got some that didn't get glued so I'm going back and adding the glue there. Got to make sure it all stays together, right? <laughs> so I'm just adding adding more dots of glue, uh, making sure that all of my, my flower pieces are attached. And just testing where the water can watering can is going to go. Got room for another sprig there, and then I'll put the watering can underneath that one orange flower eventually. So again, just kind of gluing and just you know having a great time. Decided I needed one more white daisy up there at the top to balance it out. So there's kind of my butterflies there. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm trimming some packaging into quarter inch strips. And then what I'm going to do is glue that to the back of the butterfly. And then I did add um, another white cutout background to kind of sandwich that uh, that packaging in there so that it would you know maintain its uh, its strength and be able to wobble when you wobble the tag. So again, those guys are done. Too much fun. So the next thing I did was I applied the um, silver color uh, foundry wax on the edge with my fingers and uh, just here I am just kind of heating it up. I wanted to rather than put uh, ink on the outside I wanted to do something a little bit a little bit different so I decided the foundry wax was a good answer. 
So here I've got the butterflies attached to the watering can with a line of foam tape down the center to kind of pop the can up in the middle and make it look more um, more realistic if it was uh, circular or kind of popped up. So again, the next thing I'm doing is I'm using that collage medium again, um, attaching the watering can and you can see those butterflies kind of flutter in the wind. I was real pleased with the way these came out. I ended up using acrylic paint in one of the et cetera, not uh, ideology tags and um, I'll have to find the name when I do the post. But um, again, the acrylic paint really stuck in those divots and brought the, uh, the words out. So again, I cut some of this Tim Holtz. This is actually a paper string. Um, it's old. I've had it in, my, in my, my collection for a while. So again, I just went ahead and tied a little, a little tag, tag tie on there. So again, here is the tag again, and you can see that movement. Having too much fun with this one. <laughs> I love the bright flowers. Really, really enjoyed making this tag. So again, it goes in my collection. So again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Blogger, and YouTube. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel.